hello guys welcome back to the channel it's gracious right here on zion tv with another productive video thank you for staying tuned he is a mentor he is an influencer an ambassador he is the best in ghana and one of the best on the continent you have started guessing who the he i'm talking about is if you want to know the he i'm talking about follow me and let's watch this video let's write hi my name is Wadamai, and my african dream is to unite africans all over the globe it all started from a small village in Ahinko Fukrom in the western region of Ghana. And being a village boy, I had a chance to travel to China for the first time. And being in China, I found out that everything was literally different. I mean, living in Ghana, I thought I was a Ghanaian. But when I go to China, I found out that I'm actually a black guy because everyone started calling me a black man. So I decided to share my experience as a black man living in China. That is when the channel Wadamaya, what is seen right now, came about. But the name Wadamaya is literally means my mom because when I started my whole YouTube career, my dad did not support it. Two weeks, my dad seen me being a comedian. He was like, I didn't send you to school to become a comedian. I took you to school to become an aeronautical engineer. My mom was always behind the scenes saying that follow your passion, do what you love. And I listened to my mom. Two weeks later, my father decided, hey, since you keep on doing what I told you not to do, I mean, don't be a comedian, but try and educate Chinese people about Africa since you speak Chinese. So that is when I listened to my father, decided to talk about Africa-China relationship. And from there, my whole YouTube ch uh, channel escalated. So, I mean, I thank my mom for supporting my dream, but I also thank my dad for giving me that idea to become who am I right now, because that is where I said that my whole career changed and the numbers started increasing. So when the numbers started increasing, I changed the whole name. Miss, being Mr. Ghana Baby, that's the name of my channel before, to Wadamaya, a Chinese phrase, which means my mom. So my name is not Wadamaya. It all started when I got tired of how Chinese people see me as a black man coming from Africa. They thought like, you know, nothing good comes from Africa. Africa is a war zone area. So I decided to take this upon myself to change the narratives. So I decided to quit my job. I'm an aeronautical engineer. I decided to quit my job, go out there and promote Africa in my own way as a black man telling the African story. So that is when I decided to leave China. Leaving China without having money. Oh my goodness, I had to talk to my Chinese guy. Hey, can you help me out? We decided to collect a loan and we bought five different countries in Africa's tickets. And that is when I think it was the best decision I've ever made because I got to Africa first day. I got like four one month journey. I earned like 50,000 subscribers in Africa and I pay back the loan and I decided not to go back again. I mean, living in China as a black man, you might encounter so many discrimination. Uh, my worst one was the day that I was looking for a job and I got there and uh, they told me, hey, we're looking for a black man who looks like Obama. But you don't look like Obama, which means I was darker than Obama, so I don't qualify for the job. I think that was my worst experience. And also, like, when you are in a train or subways or maybe you are in a bus, they will see you and they start running away. You know, like, you want to sit there. Immediately they see you there, sit down, they start running away. So that is um, one kind of discrimination that I faced in China. But apart from that, I had a very good experience in China. I think my life in China is actually a testimony. Um, talking about Africa-China relationship, we see it to be a win-win cooperation. But to me, living in China for six years, that is not a win-win cooperation. Our people in here are signing contracts that will benefit their pocket. So China has seen that and they're going to feed you with money because money is not a problem in China. So they're going to pump in money of which they know that if they're giving you $1 billion, at the end of the day, they're going to earn $5 billion. So they don't care. So it's about time the leaders in Africa will think twice and say that we we're going to sign deals that will benefit the people of the continent, but not our pocket. So, I mean, it's not a win-win corporation. They're actually taking advantage of us. And if you don't take care, they will soon colonize the continent. I mean, digital marketing or digital content creation is something that is very lucrative. If you don't understand, you don't understand. It's something that I think it's worth more than being an engineer 
being a doctor, being a pilot, I mentioned being a doctor okay, by just sitting down like this and talk to the camera it's like your passion getting paid out of doing something that you love because people tell me that go look for a job why are you in front of the camera I mean I just want to tell people out there that I can literally okay employ you let you stay in your room and then pay you every month so far I've been to 17 African countries and um, I've managed to get over 550,000 subscribers and for the interviews I think over 200 people that I've interviewed so far. I mean the most amazing interview that I've ever done was about a young guy who decided to I mean use his school fees to build the biggest charcoal factory in Ghana. Um, he decided to use he was a lawyer he's a law student but decided that hey law is not for me I want to do this and um, he managed to do something incredible that I think we all need to support him I mean a big shout out to him he's such an inspiration and after that interview I told him that I wasted my time going to school I should have started farming a lot <laughs> so yeah I mean this is the guy that I think I love so much and um, another one is a man who never had a formal education but managed to build over 2,000 houses in Ghana and this man's story it's really incredible for people to know that our formal education system that they are killing us with is not worth it. I mean, if you are interested in being a farmer, start now. Don't go to school and start learning about osophagus photosynthesis and osmosis and cross-pollination that you know that we're not going to use in future.